benefits do you get from these periods of seclusion? And would you recommend it to others? I also mentioned the benefits. <laughs> I definitely encourage or recommend to other people, encourage them. I sometimes, uh, uh, I feel sorry for them because they are so busy. I don't blame them because there are so many things to do in life and therefore they have to do those things. Uh, but uh, I feel sorry thinking what they miss in life. Some people think various other things. One time when I was in Brazil, a bunch of doctors gave me dan lunch. At the end, we were sitting and discussing. Then one of them, he did not know anything about Buddhism or Buddhist monk's life. One of them asked me, are you married? I said, no. Then he said, oh, you don't know what you are missing. I said, I don't think you know what you are missing. <laughs> you doctor, you don't know what you are missing. So, which of us is really, really missing very valuable thing in life? Marriage, have children, grandchildren, increase your progeny, population, and increase your problems. Is that what you want me to have? Do you think that I miss that? <laughs> I said, Doctor, no. You are trapped. Now you don't know how to get out of it. And you try to put me in the same trap. <laughs> Doctor, you don't know what you are missing. So I, I, I really, I don't blame them. I don't blame them. I don't blame anybody. But uh, only those who really have tasted even a little bit of meditation will go for that. Like when you eat certain food, you say today that food was the best food. If you did not taste it, you never know that. And probably you will go for it even tomorrow and the day after, and so on. Once you taste it, you go for that. You taste, not agitation, excitement, problem, you taste peace. <laughs> Once you taste peace, I don't know what word I use, I should use, I must not say you will be attached to peace. Even peace should be experienced without attachment. So, Buddha said, Gitanjara ke anivesano, a long stanza line. You fight and gain. Once you gain, don't dwell upon that. Don't stay there. Once you gain, if you are attached to it, if you dwell upon it, you have not gained. <laughs> you are still in the trap. It's a wonderful statement. You fight for peace. And, but don't become attached to peace. So, for this reason, I want to encourage people to taste peace and experience peace without attachment to peace. I think even this morning I mentioned we have to learn, in my Zoom talk, I mentioned, we have to learn to simplify our life. Yeah. When we simplify our, our life, 
quietness, seclusion is very, very meaningful. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> there are two kinds of seclusion, uh, no, three kinds of seclusion. One is physical seclusion, other is seclusion from uh, shutters, hindrances, hindrances. Other is absolute silence without any defilements in the mind. So long as we have defilements, Buddha said, Sa Dutiya Viharu. Sa Dutiya Viharu, meaning living with companion. Even if you go to a cave all by yourself, without anybody with you, still you are not alone. You go with your companion. Who is this companion? Your desire. Your desire is your companion. When you have desire, your companion is there. The companion brings all kinds of memories, that the, the memories of, your, of what you have heard, what you have seen, what you have smelled, what you have tasted, what you have touched, all these come back. So you are not alone. <laughs> you are it. Compa you go with one companion and that companion brings you more other companions. And therefore real seclusion is a seclusion <coughs> of the mind without even greed. Is desire. Yeah. <clears throat> so to those those with um, sort of fear or trepidation of being silent, you would encourage them that this quietude is a component of simplifying one's one's life. Simplification process. Actually, when you are when you when you simplified your life, you have plenty of time to assess your own achievement. How much peace you have, how much garbage you have in your mind, uh -huh. and how much or how many of them bother you, trouble you, make you unhappy. People don't have time even to think about that. Mm. And therefore, when you are in seclusion, you have to take inventory mm. of your state of mind. And uh, even you can correct yourself. Because you remember your mistakes, where you went wrong, how much problems you created and blame others. Uh, it is not, uh, uh, we are in seclusion, we don't time to think of, uh, think of our guilt. This is not going on guilt trip, thinking about your things that we have done incorrectly. Not for that purpose. Because until somebody is perfect, one commits mistake. And if we use our time to think of that, we just waste our time of seclusion. Not for that. You use the seclusion to assess yourself how much potential you have, how much you can do for yourself, how much you can help do for others. And to see the way for total liberation. When you are alone, in seclusion, you can see the similar line of your, towards your peace. And uh, being afraid is very uh, unrealistic because there is nothing to be afraid of. Even if you go to a thick forest, you very quickly 
become the become a part of the forest and the forest animals will take you as one of them mm. of course if you get angry if you have fear animals feel that fear mm. and they may attack you just like we we out of fear we attack or run away i mean that is normal behavior animal behavior human behavior there is no difference in that fright or fight but when you are in the forest you learn you learn to be friendly with animal trees plants air earth you learn to be with them then you are very comfortable ramaniya nyaranyani yatta na ramati jano vitaraga ramisa dinate kama gavesuna buddha se those who have clean mind enjoy the forest those who have uh, unclean mind are afraid of afraid of the forest and therefore we go with some unclean state and immediately then to clean our mind and be a part of the forest